I always found coding scary <laughs> when um, people always told me coding was really hard and involves a lot of math so I never looked into it. At first it's kind of intimidating and you feel like you're not going to get through it and you don't know really how. I was a little hesitant on the first day. I didn't want to like put myself out there and talk to anyone really. Jump in, get into it, <laughs> get into it. I was like, oh this might look good on my college apps, but then after coming here, I realized that it's, it's actually a really, really good experience, and it's something that you will never really forget. We think that our world is perfect, but really it's not, and we start to see that more and more as we enter high school, and it starts to affect us, and we start to feel powerless. But by doing this program, you start to feel empowered again, and it's like when you were a child, and you feel like you can do anything. This summer, I am learning how to code in like a bunch of different languages. This is the first time I'm doing Python and JavaScript and HTML, and it's been so exciting to learn how to apply my coding skills to something that's actually applicable in real life. I've learned uh, more about logic and how to think things through and it doesn't necessarily just apply to computer science. I can apply it in other places, just a method of thinking. It's been really great. We've gotten to work on a lot of project-based assignments, which I really enjoyed. I really liked the city scrolling. I personally really enjoyed 2048 just because you sit there and you play the game on your phone and you're like, this must have been so hard to code and like you're having a great time, but you know, I, I did it, we did it, we, we can do that stuff, so. I didn't know how to operate a robot, so that was really fun. And TBA, why is your so oh, robot TBA, yeah! <laughs> you made a robot dance around. Yeah. I thought you really thought that. I enjoyed doing the website. We know that we are also going to get um, speakers coming in from different aspects of the tech industry. I really liked Kathleen from Udacity. She was awesome. She was like, she had a lot of cool stuff to say. I liked Ron Bentley because he, he gave us advice on how to like do a startup. I'm Wesley Grubb's data visualization presentation. I thought it was really cool that he can take complicated data and, you know, make it into something beautiful. I think about Vivian Park a lot. Just because, like, after her presentation, my, my mind was seriously blown. Google Field Trip was a really fun ex um, experience. It was just, it's such a big company, and it was great to, like, go there and see their environment. Like the one at Facebook, because listening to Cheryl Sandberg talk about her involvement with Cheryl's code really, was really inspiring. I heard about it, like, you know, women can be, like, can be good leaders, too, and everything, but I never, like, put so much attention to it till now. And I really like the culture that's built up around the tech world. I just didn't know what a computer engineer did every day and with our mentor it was just easier to like know that now. I always had a problem with working with other people. I've never been a team person but I think this definitely has helped my skills a lot. The good thing about um having 20 other people is that you you bond with all of them. Here you can find like people with common interests. Um, they're so similar to you and you just love um, working with them and it's an amazing experience. It was nice to be able to review it with people that were completely supportive of the fact that I didn't know what I was doing but were like still helped me through it despite the fact. It definitely is challenging. But you can, but there are enough resources that even if it is challenging, you can still figure it out. Open your mind to new things. With coding, you're constantly learning something new that you haven't learned before. I think during this program, like my love for circles just blossomed. I mean, like there's circles all around. Like look at that table, and you know they. I love how this program really lets me embrace my my passion of circles. They are murderous. I was walking through them and they attacked me. They outright attacked me. This giant flock of freaking geese. Lunchtime was always really fun, especially uh, today we just played a very 
heated round of go fish. We noticed that a lot of us were wearing stripes, including me. So we were like, why don't we just make next Monday stripe day? And we were like, okay, cool. And then a few days later, Hannah and I were talking about it. And we decided, why not make it a spirit week? Once we moved out of scratch, Jeff started saying, okay, let's like start from scratch. This is different, you know? The scratch thing that Mar Margo was talking about. And now like every time I laugh, and it's not even funny, but we all laugh just because, it's, I don't know, it's... <laughs> the laughing is great, just keep on laughing. <laughs> Because I'm like looking at like a computer screen and like I'm just like wow like I sort of know how like that happens you know at the end of the seven weeks you can look back and see you know, that you came a long way I live my life according to Winnie the Pooh and the advice Christopher Robin gave Winnie the Pooh right before Christopher Robin left the Hundred Acre Woods was he asked Winnie the Pooh to promise him to always remember that he is braver than he believes, stronger than he seems, and smarter than he thinks. learning we were here to give you that first initial push but after this it's up to you and there's so many people that you can reach out to going into the summer I expected to teach computer science uh, to have a lot of fun, for it to be a, a really good summer. Is this the picture we're taking? What I wasn't expecting uh, was the, the group of girls that were in this class inspired me and motivated me to do more than I could have imagined. The advice that I would want to share is just don't forget about the human. The human behind everything. The human is what drives us.